Okay, we're up and running. We have an 1100 gallon pump. It's running today, so we're probably a little late on water. Considering how heavy this material is, but we'll be alright. thing about this is we can run through this this five gallon bucket of material in five minutes or so won't have to spend a bunch of time classifying I mean, this material is already classified because uh, we've always panned it out. We got rid of all the big, big material panning it. The pounding has been pretty fast, but I think it's going to be all right. These mats work so well that I'm not really concerned about pushing it a little bit. And I know there's not a lot of gold in here because I panned this all up myself. So, because it was such rich material, there's no doubt there's going to be a little bit, a little bit left in there. Another nice thing about running this way is we're getting some black sands in there. I don't, we're not going to plug up, but just as an example, uh, with a nice active mat like this, if you want to clean up, you can just set your high banker over top of your over top of your bucket. Get your water hose. Get your water hose. Rinse them right into your pan, so you don't have to pull the mats and do a whole bunch of work, but just. Rinse out your mats and you're done. So that took no work, no effort, no time. Okay, so it took about five minutes. So we reduced a five gallon bucket down to a quarter pan or so. That took about five minutes. Um, maybe now we'll run it over a cleanup table. Um, you know, I think that's what I will do is we'll go to a cleanup table now um, just plain v-groove matting and we'll clean it up some more and we'll get it down to a very small amount that needs panning okay so here is step two we got our little cleanup sluice this is a small one uh, we're just running our material into a up so we can run it a second time if we want to if we find that we're lost a little bit we can run her a second time if we want slowly feed it in you can see it's it's moving the black sands out a piece of gold sitting right there once again this should only take five minutes or so because we uh, we've reduced our concentrate so much now that it is maybe a quarter of a pan that we have left to run through and I'm just hammering this stuff through fast here getting a little clogged up at the bottom because we, uh, we have the bottom of the sluice sitting in the tub but nothing's going to get down there anyhow
see some of the gold showing up here. We'll keep running our material through. We'll get back to you when we have it finished. Sluice up and in. We'll just get it all rinsed out. Make sure there's nothing left in it. Well, that's good with paint. There's, there's nothing left in there. And all our concentrates now are in our pan, which we've reduced to. Oh, maybe a quarter cup, third of a cup. Mostly just black sand left now. Very little left here to pan out. So. You can see that. Oh yeah, look at all the really fine gold down in there now. I don't know if I can get a good camera shot of this, if it'll pick up or not, but look at all the ultra fine gold. And then our coarser stuff sitting up here, but the, there's tons and tons of ultra fine gold all through this here. again a little more water start back panning some more the way these pans make the material just slide down so slowly there's not much chance that we're going to actually miss any gold see it's starting to show up there now so we'll just stop here and then what I like to do is just flip the pan over backwards and then pan out what a back pan and just make sure there's no gold in it and then go back again I'll just pan this this out to make sure that there's nothing in there and I just oh well, there's a couple colors so what I will do is if I really want to keep those colors shake them back down in the pan as much as I can without losing them. Then I'll just shake them back down into the, into the rest of the material and we will do this again. Just go pan down here. We're just going to move the last few grains of black sand down. Now when there's this little we could use a magnet too. So the longest part of the whole process was uh, out the super cons that last couple tablespoons of material the rest literally took a few minutes we probably would have been way faster to run this over a mill or two but for the amount that we had a couple tablespoons of uh, super cons to pan out I just hand panned it with a falcon pan because it's pretty quick and it does a really good job uh, if you're at the least bit careful you're not going to lose anything in that. You know, an example there it's just a super fine gold that we've got scattered all around there. That's clean gold. Done deal. Good to go. Thanks for watching everyone. Please click the like button, subscribe to our channel. It keeps me motivated to, to making a few more videos from time to time. So yeah, please like and subscribe.